Kind of following the music here. Everything is so austere. It's so mysterious. Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao. Advent 2021 is December 23rd already. It's Christmas Eve Eve, and every lock on the main page has been open. Only off page is left. But we're not going to get there for a while because my desktop Steam client has been beeping all day yesterday. Like, like not all the time the time, but a lot. And even before we even get there, oh my gosh, it's Talk House. Uh, uh, yeah, and we got a folder thing that I received at pretty much the last possible minute. Let's start with Chuhan, whom yesterday things went weird. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay, oh I see, I understand. Uh, so the CD key is for to put in Steam. Okay, now I understand what I can do that. Let's see if I can do that, see, or if I can just make that YouTube address work. Can I do that? What if? No, it's not a... Someone pointed out, um... What if we change that to just be like regular YouTube? YouTube.com. Huh. Uh. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let me. Give me like a second. By the way, special Discord based <laughs> ambush by Worm Isis. Uh, that's new and different. An ambush from a new angle. There isn't a way to give. Does a link in Steam anymore? And I wasn't sure about adding you on the Steam, so Discord seems like the next best thing. I wasn't sure if you ever received this game, but it's one of my favorite weird nonsense FPS games, and just as significant some way as Half Life and Doom, even if, if only on a tech level. Behold, Serious Sam HD, the first encounter. All right, so I clicked the spoiler, and it's a humble bundle link. So that's how you made that work. Since it's from, I don't want it revealed in case people just go there and steal it. Since it's from Humble Bundle, it'll ask, uh, it'll ask for your email address so it knows where to send the actual Steam key. If this ends up in the Advent video, probably be mindful of that. Happy Holidays! Thank you for bringing stability into an uncertain time where mice is. Well, there you go! You made it in the video after all. I'm gonna even click this Add Friend button. Yeah, you sent us a few days ago, but like this is just like not part of the... My, how my things are organized. I didn't know what to handle. Turns out, though, I need to go here to see if I can find a thing. Okay. <laughs> I managed to find it by putting that thing, the actual Earl part, in here. And it leads to Strong Bad Emails Dragon. Wait. The Crimbus now makes sense. Old game based on old flash. Oh, 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 it's the Homestar game. I did it. I figured it out. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and I can feed that into Steve. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I see. I, I didn't try putting it there because I, I wanted the surprise and figured out. Wow. Did it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Winter sweater. You got an ambush going my way. Merry Christmas. I could not find your email. So here it is. You see Freeways. That is. Captain Games. Oh, it's an itch.io link. You are a traffic engineer. Draw freeway interchange. Optimize for efficiency and avoid traffic jam. Oh. Oh, that looks actually super neat. Uh, Oh, 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 yeah, that's a unique little clickety that I can go, but like it doesn't, no, a URL doesn't show up anywhere, so it's fine. Oh, okay, well, that looks honestly pretty rad. I, I love how simple, like you just draw. It's a, it's like a paint game, but you know, actually, have, that looks super neat. Okay, well, thank you. Just thank you, winter sweater. Uh, okay, all right, thank you. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's, it's hard to say things. And then 7, uh, 7TC7 7 also sent me a thing. Hi, Al Cow. And I'm like, hi. And there's their two Toho's dancing. Yes, come. 
a time where I have to thank you and your community for consistently providing everyone with a good time through multiple daily updating video series, many creativity and spying projects, and also personally for leading me to find some of the best friends I have ever made on the interwebs. They know who they are. I no longer remember how I found you or what was the first series of you I watched, but I have been following your content for many, many, many years. Now, and it feels reassuring to know that I can look forward to seeing something new from you every day, no matter the state of the world. I love seeing your ventures into different types of games and trying things you would have never considered in the past, while also staying true to your roots. I also appreciate your comparatively short videos compared to the rising popularity of multi-hour streams, as they can be easily fit into my daily routine. Although I watch and make long streams too, so if you ever do think of streaming, I wouldn't be averse to the change. Some games just work better in that format, I feel. But I don't want to ramble on! Merry Christmas to you and all of our reading this through your very own eyeballs. I hope you're all doing great. Ah, well thank you! Thank you, thank you for the kind words and just the sincerity of them. Like, and you know what, that is true. Like, to me, I feel... As there have been less and less shorter videos out there on the internet, I feel like the need for me to stick to my, my roots, in a sense, like, I feel like it's all the more important. Like, that's the truth. Like, with so many streamers out there now that are all, like, competing for, you know, a fairly limited amount of time, there, I feel like there's a lot more value and just little shorter, little crunchier like little pieces of life that you can encounter you know instead of just big on gobble and then you get to see i don't know i don't know i don't know but i agree it's the reason why i do things the things i do honestly but thank you uh thank you for your words and i pretty sure you ambushed me on steam or you might so taking that into consideration whoo okay so that's the pre-ambushes. What? Pilly, still hanging out, still got the bazooks, now I gotta get steam out. So 13 pending gifts here. Like I said, this has been popping. It just has not been stopping uh, throughout the day. Just once in a while, someone go beep beep, and I'm like, oh! And then at some point, goes like, oh. And at, point, at some point, you become kind of like weirdly, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking here for? Um, <laughs> like a little embarrassed. I just, this outpour of love. I, I just, it's a lot. <laughs> so we'll just go down and just, just go through so I can go through. DSP Coon was the first ambush! In case you want to relax from looking at happy colors on your screens. By looking at happy colors on your screen. <laughs> You're a fan of 11 year. Kablam! DSP Coon, yeah, Tetris Effect, I've heard of that, and that's like, DLC? Or like a, an, up, an upgrade version of Tetris Effect? Would a Tetris Effect LP work one day? I, I wonder, I played that weird one, like maybe as a one shot, but no, I heard of that, and it does look really neat. But I think it has kind of a single player component to it, I'm not sure, I'm gonna just click accept gift and not think about it too hard but that's like whoa there's poop <laughs> or is there whoa feel free to decline this gift you don't want in your library this is my no no this is going in my library there's poop in my soup the most important game ever <laughs> game that exists and now it exists in my things uh, but then whoa SAG is like ambush train with an actual train final station collector's edition die to the world of final station almost read final destination exclusive collector's edition uh I don't know what this is other than clearly it includes a train but it has a skull and this man has a tiny gun so, I have no idea what this is about, because the package description doesn't really say much. And then, whoa! Look at that! Oh, Some guy 712X. 
Now there's an institution of the global AU Rao Cao community family. If you've ever read my comment section, then you have probably read the some guy who has been providing a long form time uh, tagged commentary on all of my videos nearly for such a long time I forgot when you start. Like I my, my I want to say for at least a decade. Like it's been a while. How long have you been here? Is this the most directly we've ever communicated? I'm touched. Like, I... Oh. Well, Cat Planet, Cat Planet, Cat Planet. This game is now part of all the cat... I don't think it's part of all the Cat Planet. But it is certainly a game about a cat. Magic Cat! Side swing platform inspired by the retro games of 16 era. Cute magical cat in 63 levels. Oh, geez. Oh, this looks intense. Well, intense. Yeah, look at the intensity of this banner. Oh, this is some hardcore gamer. No, honestly, well, thank you. It's just weird. Like, I just never really considered that we would talk from the same dev. Oh, you've been, you've been LPing Miracle Fly for what feels like forever. One character has a cat costume, so it's also it's part of the Cat Planet side games. <laughs> Meowery cat mess to you. <laughs> okay, whole new gangsman. Well, I'll, I'll accept it, and I will add it to my library, and maybe I'll play it. I I'm looking forward to it. You've been playing that game for a long while. I if you start to play that game, you play it. Then there's payroll, ambush train, <laughs> back again. This is what a game would be like if it was 20 minute office simulator <laughs> Windows 95. Oh, that famous game genre. <laughs> right. Hey, them's all took. Surprise, it's a Lumi. Yeah, so this is a game. This is part of what I call the Alex Diener collection the vast array of games that you've played that I immediately want to play <laughs> because our taste turns out to be very similar weird yeah uh reading the blurb here is pretty much correct purest 2d platform this side of the 90s running double jump your way through 60 diverse levels in a game field the absolute brim with unique challenges and goals discover secret eggs and collect tokens to access new levels while you find your way out of the Lord Leo's Diabolical Game Show. Uh, yeah, this game is like pure 3D platforming at its very essence. And Them's All Took could do nothing but praise that game the whole time he was playing it. It's like one of his top forever games at this point. And uh, I own it now. You can't do anything about it. I don't know why, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cyril, hi. Follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Spark 2, the Electric Jester 2. <laughs> I've heard about this game. Do you know why I've heard about this game? Spark the, Spark the Electric Jester. And here's the first one, who? Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. That's your not your name though. Um, so these two games are in my not Sonic collection. I'm aware of them. This game being inspired by the classic, and this one being inspired by adventure. Or so I have heard. They were sort of planned to be inserted as not Sonics. So, these were definitely already on my radar, and now I own them. Because, you know, later Not Sonics, I'm planning on just making complete, like, complete playthroughs when they're worth it. And these definitely feel like they would. Now Rain World is here. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. A terrible, horrible idea. A terrible, horrible, no good, very bad idea. Thus... It is all but inevitable. <laughs> so, this is a talk house reference where people are talking about Rain World in a recommended thread, 
and everyone was saying how playing this game would probably be a terrible idea. And then I expressed that the fact that everyone thought it would be a terrible idea means I just want to play it ever more, more and more. You're just enabling me here by buying these games to make it that much more likely. You know me too well. Oh jeez, like, I didn't realize how this would just keep on keeping on. Hey there, guy! It's time to finally say Merry Christmas to you from me! Hope you're having a great time as you <laughs> at the Squirrel Garm. Pico with Amaigari no Hanami. I don't know what that means. Oh, I already have. Okay, no. Why did I thought? Why did I misread that? I think the Japanese threw me off. How does did the Japanese just destroy my? Oh. Is it possible you sent me a Hanami game before? I think that's what threw me off. Now there's just more. Yeah, here we go. Apparently my past me gave you already one of the other Squirrel games. I think it's even on my game list. But now I got the whole trilogy. Dang it! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh my god, just cannot keep continuing. Okay, this is the last one though. This is the last one for today. <laughs> Malchmat, Merry Christmas! Your kindness is part of my daily routine for years. So I wanted to say thanks with my favorite canon Toho game. You rock, keep being you. Best wishes. Yeah, impossible spell card. One of the gimmickier Toho game, which like is formatted to almost be the most playable possible as a normal game, like as an LP game. Because it's not like just a straight up... I've heard about this game, and yeah, it's also been on my radar. Gosh, I'm just... I am whelmed, overfilled with it. This is insane. This is nuts. All these games. Ugh. I mean, thank you. I thank you all individually as we were going, but there's some things also as a group. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to split this video in two because we got a fuller Also, what's 23 here is gonna look like? Let's find out real soon. Let's just cycle real close real quickly here. Oh, I Fire nice whim widget Whim widget one of the monsters of Smebex out there I'm gonna press the button we're gonna see what happens. Interestingly, oh, oh, that's cute. Yo, Kalichiwa! How's everyone today? Today we're playing some Maggle Four. Hope you're all very excited. I'll be playing as Luigi. He is the best, after all. I cannot pay attention to everything that's going on on the screen. Uh, this is playing on its own, by the way. Oh, this is nuts. <laughs> How is this? Wow! Oh! <laughs> this is way too real. Wait a second. This, yeah, this is my, this is, this is Lion's level. That's definitely the, wow, you're really good at this. <laughs> you're way better than I am. <laughs> hey. <laughs> She's so angry. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas Eve Eve, the most important day of the holidays. <laughs> Not true, honestly. Oh, great, awesome, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> that's too clever for you, Pilly. So today I rest, while tomorrow I arrest. Beautiful language. The animation on you, what the heck? Wow! Was the one that won the last viewer poll? Fire and ice. Let's give that a whirl. I'm just gonna let Luigi win by doing nothing. Matetiku desai! While I prepare the stream! I probably did not say that, hell. Uh, 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 uh.
I mean, I might not have really played Smebex, but what we've seen there should not have existed. So I guess it's from Wim. So I received the folder from Susie uh, this morning when I woke up, but it was just a Google folder with no names. I was like, okay, I guess I'll create a December 23rd folder. And I accidentally opened it twice. Okay, no, I didn't. Never mind. We're gonna read this text file. Hurt. Yeah, it's from Wim. Hi, Rao Cow. I'm a Wim widget. Hey. It got Coco mode on Ravi Ribby, by the way. God damn. Mr. the Cow, Spyro wasn't paying attention while he was off killing helpless animals to feed his familiar, and he set off another thermo -ca thermocatular explosion. Oh no! Mr. Omega, with the perfect timing. Final DLC. The, my issue is that playing. Returning to Rabby Ribby without having played for a few years and doing some endgame DLC sounds like a terrible idea. But I own it now! Coco mode and before maybe it's made that to account and you can play it normally? I don't know. If anyone knows, please tell me. Please let me know. Oh, yeah, so sorry about that, Wim. <laughs> Welcome to my day yesterday. I'm a whim widget. It's giving you a small, incomplete, experimental game to play for Advent a terrible idea? Strictly speaking, this not only would it not be the first time in the Advent, it wouldn't be the first time this... this Advent. Hope not, since you're going to be trying such a game right now. Hope you have fun trying it. In the rush to make the build, I didn't provide an option to set controls. Analog controls work wonderfully with it. The game requires the mouse. The menus force you to use the mouse. Fire, ice, was D. Uh, X. To Wait. But you want me to use a controller for jumping? Okay. Normal is intended mode and it's kind of like a hard difficulty, anyways. Full of retrospect, sheep. If I decide to split this in two, which I think I will. This is where the split is going to happen, probably. Or maybe before I look at the folder. Oh! <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Maybe I need to, like, recalibrate my recording for this game. So I'm just going to click on this .exe file I've received on the internet. Let's see what happens. Fire and ice. Yeah, that's a big window. Ooh, placeholder. My favorite brand. Yeah, see, this is, like, huge. Can I shrinkle it? I cannot shrink it. I'm gonna have to reset. So, alright, that answers that. See you guys in a different video. This is overwhelming. <laughs>